This is Jerry Seinfeld from the popular 90s television sitcom Seinfeld. I bet you didn't know that Jerry is a massive sneakerhead. So today, we're gonna take a trip down memory lane to explore some of the best sneakers worn on the iconic show, the Nike Air Hirachi Purple Punch. In the episode, The Subway, from the third season of Seinfeld, Jerry is seen rocking a fresh pair of Nike Air Hirachis in a purple punch colorway. The Hirachi had just released a year prior, and at some point, Jerry meets a naked man in the subway. The man is completely naked and is carrying all of his clothes in a bag. This particular sneaker and colorway was one of the on-foot highlights on the show, and it's not hard to see why. Seinfeld is considered a sneaker god, and these purple hirachis really point to why. The Nike Air Jordan 6 in the sport blue colorway. In the season 3 episode, The Cafe, noticing that very few people stop to eat at a certain restaurant in his neighborhood, Jerry feels sorry for the owner and stops in to suggest ways of increasing his business, which in a classic Seinfeld way, causes the restaurant to do even worse. The episode shows Jerry peeking out of the blinds with binoculars, and you get a glimpse of what's on feet. The Air Jordan 6 Sport Blue. When the Air Jordan 6 came out back in 1991, there were four OG colorways, the infrared, the carmines, the white infrared, and the sport blue. The latter being the more under the radar colorway still to this day, and I think Jerry seemed to gravitate towards their simplicity. Fire sneaker in my opinion, and he also wore them in other episodes of Seinfeld. The Nike Air Moab ACG in the OG colorway. One of my favorites from Jerry's impressive collection of sneakers is the Nike Air Moab ACG in the OG Rat and Birch colorway. In season 3 episode 5, a a stern library investor goes after Jerry for an overdue book that he checked out back in 1971. Bookman, the investigator, visits Jerry's apartment and paces back and forth furiously and comically while Jerry watches in amazement wearing a pair of Moabs. Fun fact, the speckled sole is a popular design element in many of Nike's sneakers now, but it all started with the Nike Air Moab. To achieve the perfect speckled look, Tinker Hatfield and his team put in a lot of work and attention to detail. The early versions of the shoe were even hand-painted, with each sole being individually flicked with paint to achieve the desired speckled effect. The Nike Air Moab was one of the first sneakers to feature this unique design element and set the trend for many sneakers to come. I love this sneaker, and so did Jerry. The Air Jordan 7 Cardinal. Okay, if you've ever held a pair of Cardinal 7s up close and personal, then you know how beautiful this sneaker really is. So I'm not surprised that Jerry chose to wear this pair of Jordans in three episodes during season four of Seinfeld. In the episode, The Handicap Spot from season four, episode 22, Jerry and George narrowly avoid a public stoning after George Parks' his father's car in a handicapped spot, inciting an angry mob to trash the vehicle. It's honestly one of the funniest moments in the sitcom's history, and Jerry rocks the Cardinal 7 so brilliantly with his go-to washed blue denim and oversized coat shirt outfit. Wasn't this everybody's outfit in the early 90s? Also, if you're enjoying this video, why not hit us with a like and consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button below. The Nike Air Tech Challenge 3 In the Seinfeld episode, The Revenge, Jerry and Kramer accuse a laundromat owner of stealing $1,500 from Jerry's laundry. There's this funny scene where Kramer and Jerry try to dump concrete mixture into a laundry machine to get revenge for the guy stealing money from him. If you watch closely, you'll notice Jerry's rocking some fire Nike Air Tech Challenge 3s. In other parts of the episode, he wears the rarely seen Nike Air Challenge Pro Low. According to the late sneaker expert Gary Warnett, you don't see these too often because they were sidelined in favor of their visible air siblings. But the use of that triangle panel on that colorway echoed in a few classic 1991 runners, which indicated that Jerry had a better eye for future classics than we did. The Air Jordan 5 Grape The Grape 5s are considered iconic and they made a brief appearance on Seinfeld. They appear in the third season of Seinfeld in the episode The Stranded. Jerry wears them with a black long sleeve shirt and jacket that makes the white base sneakers really pop. This specific colorway of the Air Jordan 5 not only caught the attention of Seinfeld fans but was also worn by Will Smith in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air which aired earlier in 1990. This made the sneaker a hot commodity among sneaker enthusiasts thanks to its loud colorway and its primetime TV appearances. By the way, we've actually covered all the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's iconic sneaker moments with Will Smith, and I'll link that video at the end of this one, so stick around. The Nike Air Sonic Flight Mid. At some point between season 4 and season 5, Jerry grows very fond of the Nike Air Sonic Flight silhouette. He wears them in multiple episodes, but one of the standout colorways is the white and bright Concord, which he wore in the two-part episode titled The Pilot. In the series of episodes, Jerry, whose job in the show is to be a comedian, gets greenlit to make a show about his life. Life. They audition a cast of characters to play themselves in the pilot, and the guy they chose to play George from the original Seinfeld has a line that says, You sneakers? Yeah. What are you needing sneakers for? I like sneakers. 
How do you make a decision which ones to wear? I'd go crazy if I had to decide which sneakers to wear every day. Ah, uh, you're crazy anyway. <laughs> The Nike Air Digs Pro Low. Okay, out of all the sneakers Jerry wears in the show, this one appears the most on his feet. It's a volleyball inspired gum sole design that manages to check all of Jerry's boxes for regular wear. It's also versatile enough for racket sports, which is a bonus for Jerry as he loves tennis and the tennis shoe aesthetic. Nike's Digs collection may not be their most popular design, but these shoes are underrated and fit the show's style like a glove. One of the clearest shots of the silhouette occurs in the episode The Trip, where Jerry and George embark on a mission out West after Kramer is held in LA County Jail on suspicion of being involved in several murder cases. There's this really funny shot of George and Jerry waiting for Kramer to be released in front of the county jail and you can see the Nike Air digs in all its Seinfeld glory. Beautiful shoe. The Nike Air trainer SC High White Royal. Both 90 sitcom stars Will Smith and Jerry Seinfeld enjoyed Bo Jackson's beloved Air trainer SC High in the royal blue and white colorway. Jerry's introduction to cross trainers began with this particular shoe, although he explored other obscure styles from Nike's cross training division as the show progressed. Despite the availability of the well-known Total Orange version, Jerry chose to keep it understated once more, which is totally his style. You can easily spot the sneaker in several episodes, but my favorite is in season 2, episode 8, when Elaine wants to move into Jerry's building by renting the apartment right above Jerry's, and Jerry's really unsure about it, he doesn't want it to happen. There's a scene where the camera zooms out and Jerry is sitting on a stool with the Air Trainer SC on full display. Man, he was ahead of his time with his denim, but of course, his sneakers too obviously. The Nike Air Structure 2. Probably my favorite sneaker Jerry wore on the show was the Nike Air Structure 2, the sequel to the much loved Nike Air Structure, except this time, Nike opted for switching out the visible air unit for something called Footbridge Technology. The Air Structure line was really popular for many years for Nike. In season 6 episode 8, there's a scene where George is showing Jerry his newly bought car. As they stroll along the sidewalks of New York City, you get a glimpse of this beautiful purple and white sneaker. At one point, Jerry steps in gum and George tells him that he can't get into his new car because of his dirty shoes. Jerry reluctantly walks back into his apartment with his gorgeous Nike Air 2 structure in hand and gets ready to choose another sneaker. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.